Hey, hey, Blue Table fans! Let's get some light on these guys. All right, we're taking a look at a set of Endless Spells. Now, this was artistic license, and also with further license to really get off the beaten track with these guys. And you're definitely gonna see the difference uh, once we bust out the old rule book. Now this is the Malign Sorcery set for Games Workshop's Age of Sigmar game. And with this, it basically gives you spells that can be used, you know, like they, they are their own models. Let's get, uh, let's get a 40k orc boy out here. There we go. And that, that'll give you an idea of the scale. Let's move that. So these, these things are pretty huge, actually. So this is an infantry figure next to one of the medium-sized spells. So they are, they are pretty substantive. And we've also rebased a lot of these guys onto secret weapon miniatures bases. This is the one where it's all the skulls. Uh, we have uh, some city terrain here, like uh, sewer grates and cobblestones and stuff like that. Now, do note, these are painted uh, to a very basic uh, tabletop standard. And <clears throat> this kit, I do believe it retails for $70. It comes with 17 pieces in it. So that's about $4 and some odd cents per piece. And for what you get, I would say it's a pretty darn good deal. Unless I got my number wrong. And of course, the prices can always change too. So if you look in the book, let's go ahead and just scooch some of these back. Crack this book up. Whoa, let's see if we can get not so much glare on there. And uh, so, for example, let's open the middle. By the way, this book is really cool. I've just finished sort of skimming through it. So the burning head... Our burning head is uh, like a green flame and pretty dark. I, the painting is actually pretty dark on these guys. And then the chronomantic cogs, let's see, these were actually really painted differently, sort of a wispy ethereal thing. The prismatic palisade, which is one of the cooler pieces in this set, let me go ahead and find that. That's actually more in line with how the um, how it's presented in the artwork. There it is. Well, actually, it's not. Never mind. So this is like white, and ours is like actually multi-colored, like with greens and purples and blues and yellows in there. And uh, the purple sun is is pretty much is pretty much purple. And uh, these things are definitely different. This is Umbral Spell Portal. There we go. And quite frankly, I like the one that we came up with better. Uh, let me see if I can find it in the book. So there you go. That's, that's com whoop, hello. That's uh, compared to the book. So uh, let me just focus in on that. There we go. Guys, I'm running this all myself, so you know. Yeah, and again, ours is way darker than the published model. So there you go. This is not necessarily what you would get with artistic license because obviously the artist here went way off the beaten track, which was encouraged by the way. And, um, but that's kind of the sort of thing you could possibly get, uh, you know, because a lot of times the artist will reinterpret something in really a, a very wonderful way. And I gotta tell you, I absolutely love this kit. I just, I'm really, I'm really excited for it. And you know what? I really need to get in some games, guys. I need to, I need to start playing miniatures battles again. All right, well, uh, thanks for tuning in. And I hope you got your inspiration for the day.